you have no big ball, I would start sitting and I'll tell you when to use your chair. And um, everything that we're doing can be done on the floor or on a chair, but if you have your ball, we're gonna use our ball. So if you haven't got a ball yet, you're looking for this. They are nothing fancy, they are not expensive. They're regular old gym balls. The thing you're looking for is that they're 65 centimeters and the magic word you want is anti-burst because the hospitals freak out a little bit unless you can say to them, yes, it's an anti-burst ball. Um, they're available obviously in any sports shops, lots of online places. Argus is a great selection of them. I would, you would expect to say some pay somewhere between 10 and 20 euro for them, no more. Actual antenatal balls are about 60 or 70 euro and I have a selection of both and I see absolutely no difference. In fact, some of the regular birth balls are a little bit more robust nearly because they're expected for gyms and working out and stuff. So I would just get yourself something that's comfortable. You want to be, it's a 65 centimeter ball you want. When you blow it up, you want your knees in line with your hips and your feet flat on the floor. If your ball is too low down and your knees are higher than your hips, it's going to pinch into your groin and not feel very comfy. Or if it's too big for you and you're standing up like that, again, it's going to rock the pelvis the wrong way. So you want a little bit of a bounce underneath your ball with your feet flat on the floor. And it should be the main thing you kind of sit on, rest on, relax on throughout the pregnancy, but you should be particularly glued to it from about 30 weeks onwards. And uh, like Claire has done, take it on holidays with you and do whatever you can to make it uh, to make it work for you. So if you don't have your ball, you can stay sitting on the floor, whatever works for you. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift the heart, drop the shoulders, take one hand to our heart and one hand to our baby. I'm gonna focus on slow, deep breaths here. So inhaling deeply, exhaling fully, inhaling and exhale fully. And again, inhaling and slow, deep exhale. And then you're gonna take both hands down, nice and low, underneath your bump, and you're really starting to think about the muscles of the pelvic floor. So you're thinking pubic bone to tailbone, including the two seat bones, and it's that whole, um, with a huge amount of muscles. This is your, your pelvis and your pelvic floor, and there's a huge amount of muscle towards the back of the pelvis. And you really want to squeeze front to back, side to side, and get that whole pelvic floor tightening. So when you're ready, three steps, steps up. We're going to lift up, tighten, and hold the muscles of your pelvic floor, and then fully relax, release, and let go. Again, we lift up, tighten, and hold. Fully relax, release, and let go. Lifting, tightening, holding, and fully relax release and let go and again lift up tighten and hold and fully relax release and let go so giving me five more like that lifting tightening holding and fully relax release and let go four more lifting tightening holding and fully relax release let go three more lifting Tightening, holding, and fully relax, release, and let go. And two more lifting, tightening, holding, and fully relax, release, and let go. So your second set is a very definite squeeze and release. And you really want to feel like you're pulsing out the pelvic floor. So when you're ready, squeeze and release me for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, last 12, 11, squeezing 10, 9, 8, squeeze for 7, 6, last 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and fully soften, surrender, relax, and release. Now lift the chest, drop the shoulders, lengthen the neck, and when you're ready, dropping right ear towards the right shoulder. So practicing the pelvic floor like we did on the ball, on the floor, seating, standing, different variations really help us with getting the full range of motion around those muscles. Gently we come to centre and we drop opposite ear to the opposite shoulder. And slowly coming to centre. And then, so all the floor exercises we normally do, we can do on the ball. It just loosens out that head, neck and shoulders and takes us into our body. 
lift the chin up, allow the head to hang back, stretch, really lifting through the chin, lifting up and come to center. And then chin comes down onto your chest, lengthen out the back of the neck and slowly to center. Allow the eyes to open, take the arms to face each other. We cross right over left. And when you're ready, inhale, reach and stretch up really high into the fingers. And as you exhale, draw those arms down. Inhale, reach and stretch a little higher and slowly and gently releasing. And once more, lengthen and stretch up really high and slowly and gently release. Uncross the arms, opposite arm over. Same thing, inhale, we reach up high. And as you exhale, the arms come down. Inhale, stretch and reach a little higher to the fingers and slowly draw the arms down. And one last time, reaching and stretching up high into the fingertips and gently release. You uncross the arms, place your hands on your knees and roll the shoulders. So really inviting that movement between the shoulder blades, particularly if you know this is an area that you hold tightness and opposite direction. And then hands by the hips, right arm comes all the way up and we lean to the side. Now lift the chin, create that space between your ribs and the hips. And you're doing three deep breaths here, inhaling and exhale fully, inhaling deeply and exhale fully. And once more, inhaling and exhale and slowly come all the way up. Let that arm come down, opposite side, stretch and reach up really high and over we go. So the chin is lifting away from the chest. Three deep breaths here. Inhale deeply and exhale fully. Long, slow, deep in breath and exhale fully. And once more, nice big inhale and exhale and slowly come all the way up. Let that arm come down. Now you want to interlace fingers, shin to the chest and reach as far forward as you can. So as you reach forward, you're opening at the shoulders, reaching and stretching, stretching and reaching. And then we sit up tall, take the hands to the heart. Two more like that. So really open out the shoulders, reach and stretch forward, forward, forward. And then hands come into the heart. And once more, chin to the chest, stretch and reach as far forward as you can. And hands come into the heart, one hand to heart, one hand to baby, breathe in. Exhale fully, inhaling, and exhale fully, and once more long in breath, and exhale fully. Now release the arms, left hand to the base of the spine, right hand to the left knee, and just gently uh, twist, looking back over the shoulder, twisting and twisting and twisting, and gently we come to center. And we go opposite sides. So taking it for a nice gentle twist, looking right back behind you over that shoulder. And slow to center. Once more to each side. Hands comes in. Nice gentle twist. And come to center. Last time, last side. Gently twisting. And back to center. Now, the, the, the reason I'm such a fan of the birth balls or the fist balls is, is that they're fantastic for exercising and in pregnancy. They're a fantastic seat for pregnancy, just to seat and to relax tired bodies, but also an amazing labor tool. So what we're going to do for the next 20 minutes or so are exercises on the balls. And then let's see, we're going to finish the class resting over the ball and somewhere in between we might do a few labor positions with the ball. But if all you ever did on the ball is sit on the ball and bounce on the ball and lean over the ball, it's still a really good investment and a really good piece of kit for any expectant mum. It's almost like the optional, the, the exercises are the optional part. So sitting on it, bouncing on it, twisting on it, releasing your head, neck and shoulders, pelvic floor on it and leaning over it is the must do. And the bit we're about to do is completely optional. So for a moment, let's bounce. Now, if you're, if you're on the floor, you're just going to roll your body around. Or if you're on your kitchen chair, just rolling your body around. If you're on the ball and you have a bouncy surface under your bum, a couple of gentle bounces here. And then those of you on a kitchen chair, you're going to change the direction of your roll. And those of you on the ball, you're going to roll the pelvis. 
So if you're on the floor or the chair, you just change in that direction, just massaging the spine. And then opposite direction. And coming right back to center. So hold on there. Don't do anything for a moment. For those of you who don't have a ball, I'm going to show you your option. We're going to come to lie on our back, head on the mat, feet on the floor, and you're just going to lift the hips up and come back down. Now, if you wanted to be a little bit uh, fancier about it, your feet could be on your chair. I don't have a chair here. And you're going to lift the hips up and come back down. So that's what you're going to do. My ball people, what we're going to do is don't do it yet, I'm going to show you first. You're going to be sitting on your ball and you're going to walk out and lean back. And as you walk out, you lean back, you curl your spine around the ball. My head is nice and comfy, relaxed around the ball. My tailbone and lower back is just dripping down. And then slowly and gently, I'm going to start to rock forwards and backwards. Now, the ball is acting to support the weight of the spine and the bump, and I'm totally chilling here. As I get more comfortable, I can work towards straightening my legs. Again, you wouldn't do that on your first time on the ball. You can make the movement a little bit smaller. And if you want to get really fancy, then you're extending the arms behind you. So you get this lovely feeling of weightlessness through the center of the belly as you just go forwards and backwards. Then all together, we're going to lift and lower our bums. And then we're going to do a few heel stretches. And then to come off, there's two ways. The head lifts up, the hands come to the ball, and we slowly walk back or the other option is you look forward your bum comes to the floor and you roll to the side so there's two ways uh, off the ball you pick what works for you so if you're using the ground go to the ground and if you're on your ball <clears throat> we'll do it slowly and gently hands each side of the ball make sure that your feet um aren't slippy so i don't know what surfaces you have at home there but make sure your feet are going to slip as you do this Hands either side of the ball and lean back, walk out, lean back, walk out, lean back. And then when you come all the way down, drop your bum so it curls around the ball. Head, neck and shoulders completely supported by the ball. And really just drape your spine around the ball. And then depending on how familiar you are with that ball, you can just make little movements, rocking forwards and backwards, working towards straightening the legs. I'm working on dropping those bums right down to the heels. So small movements. The option of making them a little bit bigger as you get more comfortable on the ball. But the whole time my spine is curling around the ball. So never, it should be quite relaxing. You're just supporting the spine, rocking forwards and backwards. And if it feels okay for you, stretch and extend the fingers behind you. If that feels okay, if not stay in the first part. It's all about what works for you, particularly my bigger bumps, my over 30 weekers. Once you get comfortable extending into the fingers, it really takes away that tightness and tension and the lack of space out of your lovely bodies. And then when you're ready, just dropping the bum down, staying with the nice spine wrapping around the ball. And then all together, we're gonna to slowly and gently lift our bumps up towards the ceiling. So lower back away from the ball, butt squeezing, belly buttons up towards the sky, same if you're on the floor. And then slowly we curl the body all the way down. Again, pressing our feet into the mat, we lift those babies up. So all the babies in the room, lifting up nice and high, pressing the belly button towards the ceiling and slowly and gently curling down. And once more, pressing feet into the mat, Let's lift those bumps up. So I want you to squeeze your butt, belly button up towards the sky. Now we're going to bounce our babies towards the sky for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, bouncing 5, 4, 3. Squeezing your butt each time, 2, 1, holding up, freeze. And then we curl the spine down and we go back to rocking and wobbling. And then from here, we're going to come off the ball. So I want you to drop your bum down and decide whether you're going to just walk uh, your hands forward, or you may want to lift the head and roll back to sit on the ball. You pick your option and then do a couple of gentle bounces to lubricate the spine. I'm actually going to go for a moment, guys, and grab a kitchen chair so I'll be able to demonstrate both things. So 
If you don't have a ball, just be on your hands and knees for me, arching and dipping the spine. Those of you on the ball, bounce on the ball, do a few little circles and just give me a sec and I'll come out to the kitchen chair so that I can fairly demonstrate to everybody. One sec, guys. Okay, I'm back and I have a chair. So that will help me demonstrate a bit better for those of you without the ball. All right, guys, so what we're going to do from here is you're going to come to standing and take your ball with you. Okay, if you don't have a ball, you're going to be using the chair. So I'm going to demonstrate what we're going to do first. I'll do the ball demonstration, then I'm going to do the chair demonstration. So we're going to use the ball to target bum, thighs and hips because a lot of your labour, sorry I'm out of breath after running to get the chair now, <clears throat> okay, um, a lot of your labour is going to use the muscles of your bum, thighs and hips to help really open the pelvis and help work with gravity to get those babies out. So what we're going to do is we're going to really work to strengthen those. Now, I know some of you are uncomfortable lunging. The first thing we're doing is lunging. I'm going to show you two options for this. So we're going to hold the ball. We're going to stand towards the front of our mat. Don't do it just yet. We're going to take the left leg back. We're going to inhale, lunge down, pressing the ball overhead and exhale out in front of us. Now, what you're probably not seeing on camera, but what is very important is as I lunge down, I'm squeezing the ball overhead. As I straighten, I'm squeezing the ball in front of me because that's working across the arms, chest and shoulders and even into your ab muscles. If lunges aren't working for you in pregnancy, particularly if you have a previous injury or the baby is lying on one side, you're going to do a squat version coming down and up, don't forget the squeezes on the ball, very important, so that you can get your body to really get the maximum benefits. And if you have no ball and you're gonna be using the chair, the chair is just for balance, you're gonna be lunging down and back up. So I'm only using the chair as a balance aid, nothing, nothing more than that. If you're doing the, the uh, squat first, you're using the back of the chair, coming down, and back up. There's more spots coming, so I go for lunges unless you're injured. All right, guys, so what we'll do is we'll pick our option. If you're using your chair, take your chair. If you're using the ball, taking the ball. Position yourself at the front of the mat. Remember, my ball uses the squeeze is as important as the lunge because you're going to get a double hit through the abs, chest, and shoulders. Okay, let's start taking that left leg back, chest is forward shoulders and hips pointing forward. You're going to inhale, lunge down, squeeze the ball, exhale, press to straighten. Inhale, lunge down, squeeze, exhale, press to straighten. Keep going like that. Inhale, lunge down, squeeze, and exhale, press to straighten. Lunging and squeezing, and press to straighten. Lunge down, squeeze, and press to straighten. Lunge down, squeeze, and press to straighten. Last five, and straighten for four. Straighten, focus on the breathing here. Inhale as you come down, exhale as you straighten. Last two, straighten. Last one, stay here in your lunge. You're gonna pulse the ball overhead as you bounce your leg for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and straight. Amazing. How do we find that, guys? Yeah. Okay. So it should have your heart rate, breath, and body temperature up, particularly in a warm day. Don't worry. There's nice stuff coming. I just want to really uh, focus on getting the, the strength in that pelvis. So we're going to do the same thing opposite side. So opposite leg goes back. Shoulders and hips are forward. Really focusing on the squeeze here. You're going to inhale, come right down, exhale, press to straighten. Inhale, lower, exhale, straighten. For eight, straighten. Last 
straighten, seven, straighten, six, straighten, really pressing through the feet, five, straighten, last four, straighten, three, straighten, two, straighten, the last one we stay with the arms up, stay down, squeeze and bang, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Okay, so let's take a seat onto our ball, or sitting on the chair. If you're sitting on the chair, straddle the chair. So this would be your chair. The, the, the advantage of using a chair in reverse is that you can kind of hang your butt over the back of the chair. You still get this lovely long spine and open pelvis, and you can rest your head. Those of you on the ball, just sitting on the ball, and we're all going to breathe. So three deep breaths here, bringing the heart rate down, inhaling deeply, exhaling fully, long, slow, deep in breath, and exhale fully, and once more, inhaling, and exhale fully. A couple of bounces, those of you on the ball. And a couple of circles. Opposite direction with your circles. And then whether you're on the chair or the ball, just take your left hand to the lower back. Twist, look back over that left shoulder. We come to center. We twist opposite direction, looking back over that shoulder. And we come to center. And then on the ball, your chair, you're already doing it. On the ball, you're gonna drop down onto your elbows. You're gonna send your bum way out behind you and rock forward. Just rocking the tailbone back and forward. So my chair, ladies, you guys are just gonna be dropping the bum a little bit and coming up and just dropping a bum. Again, it depends on your kitchen chair, but it's getting that movement through the pelvis, a really good one when you're feeling pressure in the pelvis and tightness to the lower back. So rolling the pelvis away from you and straightening up. Four more, dropping those tails, coming up. Three more, drop into those tails and up. Two more, drop and up. It looks like I'm laying a big purple ball as I do this. Once more, drop and up. And then from here, we're gonna change it into squats. So come right up, my chair people. Again, you're going to need the back of the chair towards you, my ball people. This is where if you have a wall, which I don't have, I'm in a tent. Imagine the back of my chair is a wall. You are going to press the ball between you and the wall. Never try this with a chair. This is just me showing you. So head toward the wall if you have the ball. Put the ball at your lower back and the ball against the wall. My chair, ladies, you have to keep your chair on hand. And we're going to squat down now. I don't trust this chair not to fall over if I do this. But what we're going to be doing with the ball behind you, holding on to your baby, not as I'm doing here. Do as I say, not as I do. So hold your baby, lean into the ball. You're going to squat down, two, three, four, and up, two, three, four. Now, as I'm doing it, I'm falling forward, but you want to be doing this with a really straight back, leaning into the ball and coming all the way back up. My chair people, you're going to use the chair and you're going to squat down, two, three, four, up, two, three, four. Again, come to the chair four, you get a better look. So coming all the way down, we want to come down that nice long back and all the way up. Okay, so whatever one we're doing, we're going to need 10 of them together. So when you're ready, slowly and gently, we're going to come down, two, three, four and up, two, three, four. Nine more, down, two, three, four, up, two, three, four. Eight more, lower, two, three, four. Take it up, two, three, four. Last seven, 
down two, three, four, sorry, and up two, three, four. Last six, lower, two, three, four, up, two, three, four. Last five, lower, two, three, four, up, two, three, four. Last four, lower, two, three, four, take it up, two, three, four. Last three, keep those babies in as you squat down, four, and slowly up, two, four. Sorry, I'm losing count here. Last two, lower, two, three, four, press and lift, two, <clears throat> three, four. Now we're going to stay at the bottom of the last one. So lower, two, three, four, stay there. At the wall, you're really leaning into the ball. At the chair, your butt is out behind you. We're all going to freeze and we're going to blow it away for 10, 9, 8. Stick with the breath, 7, 6, 3, squish that ball back for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and come all the way back up. Woohoo! Amazing. Okay, so either take a seat on the ball or on your chair. We're going to take one hand to our heart, one hand to our babies. Inhale deeply here and exhale. So the heart rate, the breath, the body temperature should be way up now after that. So inhale deeply and exhale fully. And once more, breathing in and exhaling. And again, resting hands in the knees. Roll the pelvis around. So this is really good for bringing blood flow into the pelvic floor in opposite direction, particularly if you're suffering with varicose veins, piles, restless legs, leg cramping, really working getting that circulation around your pelvis and then bounce. So again, if you're on a chair, please don't bounce. But bouncing is actually really working on the synovial fluid in between the vertebrae and really helping to give you a really healthy spine through your pregnancy. So it also feels a bit of fun in the body, but bouncing on the ball is super helpful in your pregnancy. Well, and then back to stillness. We'll do three more breaths before we move to our next exercise. So inhale deeply. Exhale fully. Two more. Inhaling. And exhaling. Last one. Breathing in. And exhaling. Fantastic. Okay. Stay there for a second. I'm going to show you what we're doing next. So we're going to do a version of plank and a version of a rollout. So what we do, again, my chair, if you'll bear with me for a moment, you're going to have your knees on the mat, your elbows on the ball. And the most important thing is you tip the hips forward. So once the hips are tipped forward, I'm already bracing my abs. My tummy muscles are tight and I'm balancing here. Then I'm going to inhale, roll the ball out. And as I exhale, I squeeze my tummy and draw it all the way back in. So I'm inhaling out and exhaling, drawing right back in. Now, as you're doing that, you're gonna feel your arms, your shoulders, your triceps, biceps, but also your abs. So where it goes wrong is I normally see a bit of this going on, okay? Whereas I want your butt to come forward before you start, and then your bum doesn't move. It's your arms coming out and your arms pulling back in. So keep that midsection tight, no movement in the bum. This should be your hardest move of the night. My non ball people, you guys are going to do press ups really slow and controlled. Your pregnancy press ups, your butt stays up, you're lowering down, two, three, press. Okay, lower, two, three, press. Okay, so when you're ready, come to the floor of your press ups or come over your ball. So my press ups people, line yourself up with your hands a little bit wider than shoulder distance apart and your butt up in the air. My ball people, Interlace the fingers, pop your elbows on the ball. Once you're comfortable, rock forwards. The hips must be forward, slightly up front of the knees. And then everybody braces the tummy muscles. So tummy muscles are switched on the whole way through this. On your inhale, reach the arms out or lower towards the floor. And as you exhale, pull the ball back towards you or press back up if you're doing the press ups. Lowering, rolling out, exhale, pulling back in. 
rolling out. Squeeze your abs, squeeze your arms and pull it back in. So you should feel your arms and abs. Do not take those hips forward. Six more, all the way out. And draw it in. Last five, rolling out, pulling in for four, in three, in. Last two, squeeze and draw in. And last one, draw it all the way in and you should have felt those tummy muscles. Again, on all three of my babies, that was the hardest exercise. Your whole abs are working, arms and shoulders, getting a nice workout here as well. So then we're gonna do a little bit of side body work. Stay on your hands and knees there for a moment. I'll give the chair demonstration first. So on the chair, you're gonna have your knees to one side, the chair on the opposite. So sitting like a little mermaid here, using the elbow of the chair. Now, obviously I don't want your kitchen chair, but I like to make sure it's sturdy enough to support you. You're gonna inhale, stretch all the way up and over and exhale, come back down. So you're really squeezing underneath waist and lengthening the opposite side and coming back down. So channeling a mermaid, your knees stay on the floor, there's no straight legs, coming all the way up and right back down. Please make sure your chair isn't gonna move. If you think it might slide, press your chair against the wall before you do it. My ball, ladies, same exercise. Better do the left side, Robbie. Walk around in circles. Okay, so you take the ball under the armpit. My hand is totally relaxed over the ball and my two knees right side channeling my little mermaid. Okay, line yourself up there, guys. Opposite hand is resting on the knee. And then I'll give you a quick demo first. You're gonna lift the hips up, lean into the ball and come back down. So you're, so you're rolling into the ball. If you just watch again, you're rolling into the ball and coming back down. So it's more of a length into the side. Whereas the chair, people were up and over, we're more of a roll. Okay? All right, so when you're ready, pick your side. <clears throat> we're gonna do, let's say four on each side. So again, if you're using the ball, hug the ball. So my hand is holding on so it doesn't slip anywhere. Inhale, lift up, stretch over, squeeze your waist, and exhale, come all the way back down. So the ball is supposed to move. Again, stretch and reach and lengthen out the side and slowly come all the way back down. Two more on this side, stretch and reach all the way up and over, and coming right back down, tummy muscles are tight. And last one, stretch and reach. I'm gonna hold this reach here, hips are up, stretching and reaching, holding, 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 and slowly and gently come back down. So take your time and move so that you can do the same thing to the opposite side. Lining yourself up either with your chair or your ball. And if your little baby is lying on one side more prominently than the other, it can feel quite uncomfortable uh, on the side the baby is lying on, but we have to do both sides. So maybe it's less of a lift and more of a stretch if you're about to the side your baby is on. When you're ready, inhale, stretch and reach up and over, and exhale, come back down. Stretch and reach, hug the ball as you do it, stop it slipping and slowly coming down. Stretch and reach all the way up and over. And gently down. Once more, we're gonna stay up here, stretch and reach up and over, me hold and breathe and stretch and lengthen and slowly come back down. Amazing, okay, we're gonna finish with a little groin stretcher. So we can mount the hands and knees, it's the same move if you're using the chair or the ball. You're going to have one foot forward, one foot back, and you're resting, okay? So if you're using the chair, it's the same movement. One foot comes around the chair, one foot back. Now, you guys can't rock or wobble the ball, so you're just going to move your hips. If you're using the ball, you have your one foot forward, one foot back. You can rest in the ball, and you're going to roll forward to stretch out the groin and gently rocking back and again roll forward so you feel a stretch in around that knicker line and slowly coming back and once more just rolling forward let me just hold it here get that stretch in around the groin relaxing over the ball and slowly and gently release take your time switching opposite leg 
So if you're using the chair, you got to move your body yourself. If you've got the ball, really kind of use the ball to support you. So you should kind of almost flop over the ball in every instance. So the ball becomes your little best pal that takes all your weight. So rest over the ball again. And when you're ready, stretch and reach and lean as far forward as you can. And slowly coming back. So you want to stretch through the groin and the neck line. Again, coming forward, particularly those of you around 24 weeks, you've got a massive pull in the groin. This should help you out. And then those of you after 37 weeks, it's going to help stretch and soften the groin as well. And last one, rocking forward, holding here. Hold and breathe and stretch and soften for three, two, one. And gently release. Amazing. Okay, so the last thing we're doing is going to relax over the ball. If you're using a chair, I just want you to make sure your knees are comfortably supported out to the side and you can just rest your head on the seat of the chair and you guys can stay here. Mm. If you're using the ball, again, knees are out nice and wide and we're going to rest ourselves over the ball. Now, if you've got sensitive boobs in pregnancy, go for the armpits on the ball. If your boobs are okay, roll the ball right in towards you. And my ball, ladies, we're going to rock forward, touch the floor, and then lean the bum back to the heels. So upper body is totally melting into the ball. I'm rocking forward. And I'm sinking back. And again, rocking forward. Sinking back. Go with the breath and just soothing and easing out the body. And then we're going to sit back, bum on the heels. And my ball people, you're going to change arm position so you're hugging the ball. And you're going to gently rock side to side, like you're doing rock the boat or something. So on your chin or on your cheek, rolling side to side, easing out the spine. And then picking the comfiest option for you. It might be hugging the ball. It might be the arms over the ball. It might be the bum back to the heels. Or it might be up with your bum in the air. My chair people, it could be hugging the chair. It might be lying on your side. But we're going to finish here with some deep, full breaths. So take your time. Get into whatever position works for you, your body, your baby. And wherever you are, make sure you give your body permission to completely melt, surrender, relax, and release. Slow, deep in-breaths and deep, full exhales here. And then just spreading softness and stillness through your body, into your little baby's bodies. Letting go of your feet, softening ankles, feeling your knees relaxing, thighs and hips. Letting go of your lower back, middle back and your upper back. And just softening your shoulders, tips the fingers. Let go of your neck, jaw, cheeks. And fully relax your eyes, your eyebrows, letting go of your forehead and your scalp. And just focusing slowly down the breath. Deep full in breaths and long slow exhales. Inhaling peace, exhaling, releasing. I'm just breathing into your beautiful little babies. Feeling your chest and tummy rise. And letting your chest and tummy soften. 
belly rising and belly softening. And so we're going to finish with three deep breaths for our beautiful little babies here. Inhaling deeply and exhaling fully. Two more long, slow in breath and deep, full exhale. And once more, big in breath, exhale fully. Little look for your baby. Allow the eyes to open and you are done. So really, really well done to everybody. I hope you enjoyed the ball class and well done those of you who were improvising with chairs. So um, we've one class left, left on Saturday, the yoga and meditation at 10. And then I'm taking a week's break. So when I send out the link for this, make sure that you download it. Um, so you can try, if you like the ball class, try it out or have a look at the YouTube videos and stuff like that as well. So you've got a bit of content to work with. And if you could at all just aim that Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday next week, you do your own little workout. And to my big bumps or my any like all my over 37 weekers, please keep the bodies moving and please keep me posted. My favorite thing is hearing all your good news. I'm just, I'm saying exactly where I am. I'm just taking a week with no teaching. So um, thank you so much. The ball size is 65 centimeters and hopefully see you Saturday morning. And Caroline, really well done in the first half. Hope you feel good. All right, guys, take care. See you soon.